Hey everybody! Good morning. Welcome back to Desert Sky Adventures. Welcome back to Tombstone. This is Tombstone Live. And we are here today at the 93rd El Dorado Days, which essentially is a mix of uh, both Tombstone's birthday and kind of like an Old West Comic Con, if you think of it like that. So I uh, received word earlier that all the hotels in Tombstone, Benson, Sierra Vista, Bisbee are all sold out. So this is going to be a huge event. And today is day one. Commonly known as uh, the slower of the three days, but the festival just kicked off here about 45 minutes ago. So uh, let's just take a look around, see what's going on. There's some kind of performance going on over here. I don't know if it's happening right now. We'll take a look. Yeah, they're raffling off an old school Henry repeater rifle. I think I might, I, think I might buy a couple tickets.
But as I said earlier, things are just starting to kick off here. Good amount of people out and about already, but there's going to be a lot more coming over the weekend. Let's continue down the street, see what's going on over here. Like all the typical spots are already pretty busy. There's a lot of people outside the birdcage. Lots of open space. They're expecting a lot more people tomorrow and Sunday. Some kind of tractor show going on over here. What are some of those shots? And after that, I was like making something. If these folks are looking for parking, I think they're going to be sadly disappointed. Wait for the intersection to clear here. have a bunch of old tractors on display over here. Nineteen forty eight. Earthmaster. Nineteen forty five on this one. sure what this is just a tractor exhibit I guess looks like they got some old-school equipment running over here but that's not something that's usually here Engines and farm tractors. All right, well, that explains it. Guess it couldn't hurt to take a look. Old 
equipment from back in the day. Certainly have their share of old school tractors. 1945 John Deere 2. I don't know a whole lot about tractors myself, but I know just like cars, they have classic tractors that are worth quite a bit. Well, that's something I wasn't expecting to see down here today. Old school tractors. There you go. You never know what you'll find down here. During the festivals. Oh, look at this thing. Pretty cool. And you heard it here first, the old T. Miller's is gonna be the hotel tombstone, general store. I gotta wonder if there's really gonna be an arcade, like, you know, a modern arcade, or if it's old school. I guess we'll find out soon enough. And head back down towards the more lively part of the street down here. See what's happening. Stream's coming in clearly. The Native American Festival, the, a good portion of the live stream came in pretty fuzzy. I think that was just because of all the cell phone traffic in the area at the time. I'm not sure. But hopefully it's not doing that now. How you doing? Pretty busy down this way.
El Dorado merchandise. I've already got a couple shirts. I'll be wearing uh, those tomorrow and Sunday. But they are selling El Dorado t-shirts if you happen to be out this way. Pick one up. A lot of people out here but it's kind of on the quiet side like i said earlier today is typically the slow day the friday of the festival and it just started about an hour ago so things are just starting to wind up but i thought since i was here i would go ahead and take a walk around town see what things are looking like It's a little warmer today than it has been the last couple days, but still pretty nice. I think it's supposed to be like 81 today. We'll take that. Good, how are you? Excellent. There's going to be live music all over town. There's a band setting up over there. For Deuce's Saloon. There's also supposed to be some music over here later on, so we'll see how that goes. Maybe tomorrow. Lots of vendors out here today. You can get some jewelry while you're here. Every parking spot is taken. Over here, things appear to be pretty quiet. It's funny, one street over from Allen Street, things calm down quite a bit, except for the parking situation. That's gonna be rough if you're not already here. But I think I'll head back over to Allen Street. That seems to be where all the Festivities are going on today.
By the way, while we're here, here's the new Ed Shefflin statue that they just put in a week or two ago. I was informed earlier I was pronouncing his name wrong. I was saying Shefflin. I'm told it was actually Shefflin, but either way, he was the founder of Tombstone. He's the guy who found the silver here. And if not for this guy, there might not have ever been a tombstone. So it's hard to say. Somebody might have found it later, but he was the first to do it. And so they just put a new statue up of him just to commemorate what he did. Things are a little on the quiet side right now. I suspect as we go throughout the day, there's gonna be more and more stuff going on. Classic car alert. Classic cars, classic tractors. It's been the theme of the day so far. I have no idea what's on it. I'm off the track. It's almost gone. <laughs> 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 I didn't notice your hand was on it. She was over here. Well, a lot of people still making their way in. But other than that, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot going on at the moment. I don't know what time any of the little shows and stuff are going on. We saw one just as we were starting out here. A little gunfight show down there. But I think, I think what I might do is just uh, hang out around town here for just a little bit. And uh, I'm actually going to be down here all day, so be uh, checking things out, seeing how it goes. And again, this is kind of the quiet day at the festival. Things really get crazy tomorrow. So I'll be back down here tomorrow as well. But I'll be hanging out around town, seeing what's going on. And uh, once all the cool stuff starts kicking off, I'll be sure to bring it to you. So until then, everybody, have a good day. Thanks for watching. See you down the road.